All right, welcome in, everybody. We are back with our final part. So we're going to create the little bottom piece to it. So I'm going to I'm going to go to File, New, Metric, Standard, Create. I'm going to start my 2D sketch. I'm going to start it on this um, plane right here. This what is this the X of E? And then to do that, I'm going to I'm going to start with a circle with a center point as this yellow origin here. And I'm going to drag it out. So that's going to be 33. I'm going to finish this sketch. I'm going to extrude this thing. I'm going to use the symmetric option. And then for the height of this, that needs to be 34. Yeah, 34. So distance A is 34. And I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to um, I'm going to turn on or make visible the the X and Z plane because I'm going to use that to um, start a new 2D sketch on. I'm going to project geometry and project a circle. If I can offset this circle here that I just did, I'm going to offset that out one millimeter. I'm going to finish the sketch. I'm going, this is a little bit tricky. I'm going to extrude this thing. I'm going to use the asymmetric option. And then um, for distance, A is going to be eight. And then distance B is going to be 12. Oh wait, first I need to pick, I need to pick my profile. That would help. All right, select face. I want that one. So, all right. So there it is. Um, distance A is eight, distance B is 12. Uh, yeah, that looks right. I hit okay. So there's that piece. Um, I'm going to turn the visibility of this plane off. Um, I need to actually, I need to turn the visibility of one of them that's standing straight up. So let's turn the visibility of X, Y plane on. Um, I'm going to go to plane. I'm going to do tangent to surface parallel to plane. So it's going to be parallel to this plane. It's going to be tangent to this outer surface. And then I'm going to turn the visibility, visibility of the XY plane back off. Now, I want to extrude, I'm not, not extrude, I want to um, offset this plane out. So I'm going to go to plane, offset from plane. I'm going to pick this plane. I want to offset it out 10 millimeters. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn off this visibility of this work plane one. Uh, where are you at? There. All right. So um, there's a method to my madness why I did that. So I'm going to start my 2D sketch on this plane that I offsetted. I don't know if that's a word. Um, project geometry. I'm just going to project this outer um, rectangle here. And then I'm going to create a rectangle from the top of this thing down to the bottom there. I'm going to dimension this. This is going to be five. And then the same thing from the center to this side is five. I want to make sure that those are the same. And then I'm going to finish my sketch. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to extrude this back to, I'm going to click on two, which is the, I could do two next. Yeah, I could do two next. Click on two next and it'll keep going until it runs into something um, and then it stops. So that's what I want. And then I'm going to hit okay. 
Um, here's a little tricky. Um, so now I want to I want to kind of chamfer these the sides of this knob thing. So I'm gonna click on chamfer. I'm gonna click on the middle option where it says distance and angle. Um, the face is gonna be the top here. Let me make sure the top, and then I'm gonna click on the top and then the edge. Um, for the distance, I want to go back. I think that's 10. For the angle, I don't want that big of an angle. Let's do 5. Let's do 10. 10. Does 10 look good? 10 looks. Let's go 12. 15. I'm just, just kind of guessed I'm in here. 15. Uh, yeah, 15 looks good. All right, so I'm going to hit apply. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the, the side here. So I click the side, this edge, apply. I'm going to switch my view. I'm going to click on the side, the edge, apply. And now all I have left is the bottom. So the bottom face and then this edge and then apply. So there's one knob. So, okay, now what I want to do is I'm going to close this. I'm going to turn this plane off, the visibility off. And what I want to do is now I'm going to, I'm going to use the, where are you at? Where are you at? The rectangular, no, the circular. I'm sorry, the circular pattern. I'm going to click on my circular pattern. For my features, I'm going to click on this knob. And also make sure that you click on all of the, chamfers that we did there should be four of those so there we go and then for the for the rotation axis i want the the y so i'm gonna click on the y axis here and then notice it kind of shows you what you what you got so i want six of those i want them to go 360 degrees around hit okay boom there we go nice Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, that's, you can play around with the chamfer angles if you want, but I kind of like it. All right, so yeah. All right, I'm going to save this thing. Save it. I already have a part four, so I'm going to call this one because I was practicing earlier. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save this as part 4A. I'll get rid of that other one later. So really you would save that as part four. Um save. All right. So in the next video, we'll put them all together, make it look real nice. Um, all right. Peace out.